This is a screencast video for an amazing little command line utility called Katamaton. And um, this was a program actually based on a request I made on the donationcoder.com forum. And what it does is allows you to invoke the what's normally a right-click context menu in the Windows File Explorer. It allows you to invoke it explicitly from the command line. So it's a little complex to understand and most people won't have use for it but there are times when you'd like to invoke a tool that doesn't have a command line equivalent and this program will let you do it. So let me just show you the two basic steps you would use. The first thing I'm going to do is call the program with this dash a dash p backslash a backslash p parameter on this file and when I hit enter what you'll see is that the context menu for this file pops up. This is what you'd normally see if you right click on the readme file and you can see I've got my normal right click. There's actually a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version but I'm going to choose this upload with right load which is a program for uh, batch uploading files to different sites like Flickr Image Shack, whatever, and I'm going to choose Add to Queue. And what you'll see is the right load window has come up and it's shown that it's added this file to the queue. Um, but that's not, that still required me to use interactively the right click menu. That's not what's special. Let's close this program and see what Katamaton told us. It told us that when we invoked it with the context menu, it's, it figured out that, okay, we first chose upload with right load, and then within the submenu, we chose add to queue. And now it's recommended to us how we might invoke this without any user interaction with the backslash M and then this little trail that we interactively picked. And so let's see if that works. I'm going to, uh, let's see, is it in here? There we go. Okay. So I've actually used a shortcut with the dollar sign lets you match substrings. So I've just said invoke the tool that's in the right load menu and then it's got add in it, which is basically just a shorter version of this on this file. So now I'm going to hit enter and we'll see what happens is it invoked, it actually executed that previously requiring interaction, that uh, context menu command that Normally, you'd have to use with uh, with user interaction. It's now invoked it straight from the command line. So this is extremely useful if you want to invoke this, for example, through some other program, like if you're using my screenshot capture program and you wanted to add a tool that uploaded the current file to Flickr or Image Shack or to an FTP server. You could instead invoke this command line through this program, uh, Katamaton, you could now invoke it this way and it would simulate the user actually going through that right click menu. And I'll show you another quick way that you might use this by using my drag and drop robot program, which is specifically a program to uh, run command line tools on large numbers of files. So you can see what I have. I've got the command line here to run Katamaton. And I've configured this so this is the pattern to match uh, what's in the menu. And then you can drag and drop files to this list. And here I've just put in a couple files here. So I've put in four files here. And now I'm just going to say go. And what you'll see is it's, it's using Katamaton to sequentially invoke this right click simulation on these four files. And there they are. You see they're queued and they're ready to go. So uh, Katamaton is not going to be for everyone, but for those people who have right click extensions uh, that do useful things and are dying for a way to be able to invoke them um, non-interactively for use with other tools, it is a brilliant program.